what's up, y'all? I walk a lonely road, I walk a lonely road, I walk a lonely road. Hey, I got a question for y'all. What's the longest y'all ever walked by yourself? Like, just walk. What's the longest you ever just walked, like, came outside and just walked, like, like by yourself? Have you ever walked by yourself? Just miles, time, whatever. Whether it's miles, whether it's time, whatever. For those who never, for those who never walk by themselves, I don't think y'all understand how important this is. To all, wait, 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 to all, this is just a fair warning. Please do not come in my live talking about anything battle rap related. You will be blocked immediately. That's just a fair warning to anybody. Please do not come in here talking about anything battle rap related. You will be blocked immediately. That's a fair warning. But uh, going back to walking, right? If you never walked by yourself, you won't understand the importance of walking. Walking is extremely healthy and is extremely important because I believe that it gives you time to really sit and talk to yourself. And I don't mean in the fucking weird jack off way, like when you're in a room by yourself. I mean like air, nature, bird sounds, stuff like that. So some mornings I get up, I get up early, like before the sunrise, I'll get up like five something, maybe four or something, and I'll just walk into the sunrise, and like my mind, like what my mind does at this period of time is it calculates, it's almost like when a computer boot up and it's like booting up and it's telling itself, okay, put these icons on the home screen. Or put these things in that file, whatever, right, right? So it's like my mind is booting up and it's computing all my calculations and possibilities for the day. It's like calibrating. So, like, where I want to lead to, what I'm leading to is, like, a lot of people and a lot of y'all, right? A lot of y'all, y'all look at me or a lot of people come to me as if I'm some type of genius or some shit like that. I, I, like, I hate when people use that term. I hate when people use the term genius. I hate when people use the term, oh, you woke, or, like, I hate when people come to me as if I'm the savior or I got some type of answers. Or I'm like some type of magical god or some shit. I'm not. Right? I'm not. I'm not no magical god. I'm not nothing. I'm just a person that said, you know what? I fucking understand. Let me take time out to focus on what really matters. Right? So when people be like, oh, you're a lyrical genius. Are you a bit? I'm not none of that, bro. Like... Everything I do, y'all can do. It's it's like accessible to the world. This is not no fucking secret book that I came across or some fucking magical gemstone that I came across to understand what I understand. No, it's not. I am a product of fucking enjoying yourself. That's what I am. I'm just a person that really goes... 
I fucking love myself. I don't care what nobody else thinks. And I really love myself, man. On top of that, I actually fucking walk a lot. Like, I used to really want a car, and now I really understand how much a car is a trap. I used to want a car when I was bad, like when I was young, I gotta get a car. Walking is for losers. Nah, it's a trap. Like, all this shit is a trap. I'm just one of the few people that understand. Like, for example, Everything I am and everything I learn and everything I do. This is all a product of me actually taking the time out to take walks. Me actually taking the time out to really talk to myself and go, Hey bro, what's wrong with you? What are the things you need to do to make yourself better? What are the things you need to do to create a better world for yourself? How could you change the environment around you? These are questions that I actually ask myself on a daily basis when I'm taking these long walks. And then my mind come up with possibilities, calculations, ways to do it, how much time it's going to take. Like, I'm not special. Look, man, like all y'all kids coming to me in my DMs, I'm getting, man, look, I'm going to say this loud and clear. I get at least fucking five to 10,000 DMs every day. Every day I wake up in the morning, 10,000 more DMs. And all of them say the same exact thing. Yo, yo, Daylight, I'm a young kid. You know, I'm just like, you got the answers. You know, they like, you know, I'm I'm a lost this. I just... And now I'll be like, sometimes I'll be like, damn, I see why Jesus died. Shit, can you imagine being Jesus? Can you imagine being Jesus and everybody and their mama coming up to you? Please help me, help me. Nigga, I ought to jump my bitch ass on the cross too. Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah, my nigga Jesus shit. Nigga, y'all nigga, I can't nigga. Can you imagine you being Jesus, right? Can you imagine you being Jesus? You walk out your front porch, everybody at the front door, niggas with AIDS and shit. Oh, help. Oh, nigga then got bit by a coyote, got rabies. Oh, Jesus, help. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus. Nigga that nigga Jesus like, hey daddy. Um Can I come back up there, G? God was like, no nigga, you gotta save all the people. Uh Jesus was like, let me go fuck with these Romans. Jesus went to the motherfucking Roman Catholic Church. That nigga mooned them niggas. They came down and killed this bitch ass. He went back to heaven. Shit, nigga, I ain't helping all y'all niggas. You crazy. But no, like, on some real shit, right? On some real shit, like, what I'm saying is this, right? What I'm saying is this, and this is just an overall message to all the people that's coming to me asking for help as if I'm a savior, right? So if you can, please share this on your Instagrams or Facebooks or wherever the hell you can. Because I need this message to get out as much as I can. Listen to me. If you are coming to me for some like form of savior, I'm going to tell y'all this. Can't no other man save you. You got to save yourself. All, hey, hey, get your ass over here now. Now, you already know what's up. Now.
My bad. You, you hey, hey, you, come here. Come here. Sit your, sit, mother. Royal, you know better, dog. You know better. I don't walk my dogs with no leash. They just, sometimes they'll do some wild shit, but get your ass over here. But look, going back to what I was saying, right? The problem with this world and the problem with up and coming people is people believe somewhere in this psychological booby trap that the average person believes that they are the only one in need. Right? Listen to me. This goes to all the people that are searching for some form of help. When you hit somebody up, do you even think, am I the only person hitting them up? Do you even calculate the amount of people it is in the world? Do that even come to your head? I had some dude... I had some dude send me a message on Twitter like, they like fake woke, he don't never reply to my DMs. Bitch, what makes you think you the only nigga sent them? My nigga, it's two levels of DMs. You got all the DMs from the people you follow, then it's another box from the people you don't follow. Bitch, what makes you think I seen this shit? My nigga, it's two levels of DMs. So this is what I'm saying, right? What I'm saying is this. As a person, right? Listen to me. As a person in the world, before you even hit up somebody that you think can help you, what makes you think that you the only person? What makes you think you the only person hitting somebody up? I learned that people who are lost, they selfish. Lost people are fucking selfish. You think your problems are the only problems that matter. And you believe that you should be at the front of the fucking line. No. It don't work like that, man. You ain't fucking special. Nigga, you ever been to the Special Olympics? Them niggas special. Royal. Royal Pixie, come here. Hey, come here, now. Hey, come on, come on. Right? No, man, look, it ain't trying. It's levels to this shit trying, right? It's levels to this shit trying. So look. You should never search for help from a man. Listen to me, man. You should never search for help from somebody who is just like you. Never. My nigga, I grew up in Watts. I didn't have no father figure. I had nobody to look up to to guide me the right way. I ain't have nothing, my nigga. All my OGs are dead or in jail or still in the hood telling niggas to do the wrong shit. I didn't have nobody to look up to. I ain't have no role model. I ain't have no leader. I ain't have no mentor. I ain't have none of that, my nigga. Pixie, come on. Royal, come on. Royal, the fuck this nigga at? Nigga in the bushes somewhere. 
Unless he got ate by a coyote. Oh, there you go. Right? Hear me out. What's good, Ness? I ain't have no leader. I ain't have nobody to look up to. I, didn't, I grew up in Watts, California. If you know about Watts, you will understand. We ain't Compton. We ain't Chicago. We ain't none of these cities, my nigga. Watts is Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 50, bitch. I grew, I ain't from LA. I ain't from Compton. I ain't from none of that. I'm from Watts, my nigga. And if you know what Watts is, you watch, you play Grand Theft Auto, that shit built off Watts. You play, you watch Menace to Society and Kane and all that, that's Watts. These, they make movies about where I live, bro. All y'all niggas watch movies about my neighborhood, bro. I really live this shit. I didn't have nothing. I had no leaders to look up to. Nobody, my nigga. I had nobody to look up to. I didn't have my nigga. I don't. I had no no conscious nothing. My nigga, I had nothing. And then you know what's so fucked up? We had a few niggas. We had we had maybe two niggas around the hood that was trying to wake niggas up. You know what happened to them? They got their ass beat. So they left. I remember when I was younger, we had one big homie used to always come over there with dreads and shit, try to tell people the right shit. Man, homie, beat, beat, bruh. Man, you coming over here with all that weird shit. Man, giddy. And that's why in the movie, a, a motherfucking minister society, that's why they told Sharif. Man, nobody want to hear that shit. You think that was a, you think that was a, a, a movie role? That's a real story. You see, y'all watching this shit like a movie. Kane, Kane grew up in the Jordan Down Project. Y'all watching this shit like a movie. It ain't a movie. It's a true story. That whole Minnesota society is based on a true story. I watched it. Them all my uncles and cousins and shit in the background. I watched it. It was really a nigga came over there trying to tell niggas, wake the fuck up. They beat his ass. So what I'm saying is this, when y'all look at me and y'all go, damn, look who Daylight have become. I became this because I tapped in with myself. I became who I became and what I have became because I said, you know what? I don't have no help. It's on me. I don't have no help. To this day, right now, in my music career, I don't have no help. In my entire career, I still don't have no help. I don't have no manager. I don't have no PR. I don't have no camera crew. I don't have no fucking major record label. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing in my I ain't signed to no major company. I don't have no major push. I don't got no major big feet. I don't have nothing. And look what I'm doing, dog. I need a video done. I go shoot it myself. Edit it myself. I sit that bitch right on the tripod right there. Bam, nigga, stand right here. Hey, turn up. Hey, 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 nigga, throw some effects on it and upload. But I don't have no help, my nigga. I got so used to not having, bro. I, I done sat in meetings with, with everybody, bro. Look, my nigga, I'm sitting in the meeting with Punch, TDE Punch. He just looking at me like, what type of creature are you? He like, so I show him some shit. He like, who did that? Nigga, I did it. He said, who did this? I did it. Who did that? I did it. He said, wait, you don't got no team? I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. He said, how the fuck you been managing for all these years? I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. When you see the whole daylight, world of daylight, that's me, my nigga. When you see daylight, you go, damn, that nigga daylight. It's just me, my nigga. I
bitch. Nigga, I make all my own clothes. I design all my shit for my for my motherfucking events and battles and shit. Nigga, I design all my fucking stage wear. Nigga, I do all my editing, all my own photo shoots, all my own photography, all my own everything, my nigga. Hey, come on. Why? Because I grew up with nothing. I grew up with nothing. I didn't have nobody to help me. So I had to figure this shit out myself. And you know what it has made me? A fucking monster, dog. It made me a fucking monster. When something pop off for me, when something is happening for me, I don't never sit back and be like, well, shit, I don't got nobody. Nigga, I'm going to do it. When some, when I see something, I see an obstacle, I will never just sit back and be like, well, I ain't got no help. My nigga, I'm going to jump, dog. I'm going to figure this shit out. Like, I never had help. I never had nothing. I keep telling y'all niggas. You know what's crazy? I tapped in with myself so much that people don't even know where I'm from. People think I'm from where 21 Savage from. Niggas be like, yeah, they like from London somewhere. I tapped in with myself so much that y'all don't even care where I'm from. Bro, look, what I'm saying is this. I spent a lot of years. Hear me out. Royo, come over here now, man. Stop going over there trying to jump in them big ass bushes. You don't get your ass bit by some. Right? Check me out. I spent a lot of years in my life talking to myself. But not like in a weird, crazy way. I spent a lot of years in my life talking to myself, asking myself questions like, yo, how could you do this? How could you learn that? How could you study this? You could do this. You don't need this person to do this. How could I spent a lot of years in my life talking to myself, bro. I literally built my own mind. Now, I don't have a ment I don't have a physical team, dog. I don't look. You know, you remember the movie Split? You ever seen the movie Split? I'm like Split, dog, except I know how to use it, right? I don't have a physical team. Now I got a mental team, dog. I got an office full of niggas in my mind, like a whole office. I got an office. Now when I need something done, nigga, I just close my eyes, nigga, I walk to the office. Oh, yo, uh, computer daylight. See if you got some people that can edit today, because, you know what I'm saying, nigga, the other editor's tired. Nigga, nigga, I go get a couple more daylights from that side, nigga, them niggas be like, all right, nigga, let's go finish this video. Bruh, I got a motherfucking... A whole brain full of them, bro. A brain full. Of, they all work, my nigga. I got a bunch of people in my head. Bradleys and all them type of niggas. Kevins, nigga, Bel Belvedere, nigga, all type of niggas inside of my head. Bunch of them. And you know what they do? They work together. See, I learned something about that. Y'all, y'all got a bunch of niggas. Well, not all of y'all, but majority of y'all, y'all got a bunch of niggas in y'all mind that's haters. Y'all got a bunch of niggas in y'all minds that's haters. Y'all got a bunch of enemies in y'all minds. You know what that shit come from? Smoking, drinking, all type of extra shit. Y'all got a bunch of enemies in y'all mind. Y'all minds is filled with enemies. So when you think you could do something, you got, a, you got a lot of people inside your mind telling you you can't. You got a lot of people in your mind telling you, I, well, I don't. If, if you think you could do stuff. If you think you could do something and you get a thought in the back of your head that try to talk you out of it, you got a fucking hater in your head. If you think you could do something and you still haven't did it, it's because your brain is filled up with haters. If you literally, if you think you could do something and you still haven't did it, it's because your brain got too many haters in there. 
I'm going to tell you what type of nigga I am. Sometimes I'll be having to not listen to my head. I remember one time, nigga, we was walking to the Grand Canyon. Nigga, one of them niggas in my head was like, Day, you could jump to the other side. I know you could. My nigga, I'm at the top of the Grand Canyon. It's like a motherfucking 40 mile to the other side of the rock. Uh, one of the things in my head was like, Day, I know you could get to the other side. Just jump. I would buy, I, nigga, I damn near took off, nigga, the rest of the day. Like, wait, 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 hey, chill, chill, chill. Hey, Daylight, we need to talk this out. Nigga, all the people in my head, them niggas came to the table. Because, you know, I got one big table in the middle of my head. Got about 44 chairs around it. One big table in the middle of my head. They, all my Daylights came to the table. Hey, hey we got to talk this out, G. So, look. I do the math, so look, you know what I'm saying? Daylight strong, he got boosties, we know he could dunk. We all know he could dunk. We seen him dunk numerous times. But still, you feel me? That shit about a couple of miles away. Ah, right, hey, ah, right, hey. Feel me? So then the other daylights was like, oh, yeah, you know, you know, cause you get the ambient, oh yeah, you know, hey, this shit kinda far, you know. Then the other daylight was like, but look. You know, because I got this weird conscious daylight in my head. Hey, y'all, when you got a conscious nigga in your head, don't listen to him. He don't get your bitch ass killed. But look, so then the conscious daylight be like, look, bro, we've been meditating. We've been studying all the Merkabas and shit. Nigga, he can fly. Nigga, we can fly. Nigga, you can do anything you put your mind to it. Right. So then uh, niggas is like, oh, you know, he kind of right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? Whatever you put your mind to, we can do it. So then I got, I got one, I see, I don't really smoke, but I got a nigga in my head that smoke. And that nigga, the nigga in my head that smoke, he make all the critical decisions. He walked up in there, he was late to the meeting. He always come late to the meeting. That's the nigga that come in with the answer. When, when both niggas don't really got an answer, he come with an answer. So boom, he come out the back. Hey, check this out. Hey, both of y'all right when you really think about it. If he don't jump, he gonna be thinking about this shit forever. And then if he do jump, we all gonna be dead. Nigga, let's just walk a little bit up the hill and jump off the rock where everybody else jumping. Oh, it's water right there, my nigga. He can jump as far as he want. Nigga, cliff diving. Y'all never thought about that? Damn, G. Y'all niggas crazy. All right, I'll be back, G. That's how my mind work. So, nigga, we walk up the block, nigga, I run, nigga, clip jump, nigga, up. Uh. Hey, over here, now. Come on. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Royal, now, come on. Here, come on. Nah, for real, right? Ugh. And I feel like these the type of people you need in your head. You need you need all sides of the spectrum inside your mind. You need them. You need every side of the spectrum inside your mind because everybody going to make a different decision. Everybody going to make a right decision. Somebody going to make a wrong decision. But you need all these spectrums in your head. Like, I got, I got every, bro, everybody I ever needed inside of my head. I, everybody I ever needed, I got them all in my head now, man. So, and this, all of this shit comes from just walks and talks for myself, man. Okay. It just comes from talking, walking, and talking to myself. That's really it. Just walk, talk to myself, and ask myself these questions and fight with myself. Now, when I think of this shit, bro, I got, like, like, I got a it's almost like I got like multiple brains. It's like I got multiple brains that connect with other brains that just make connectable decisions. So what I'm saying is this, right? My my conclusion to all this. Don't necessarily don't don't necessarily like this is why as much as I'm not religious, I still take quotes from every bible 
Don't fucking idolize or worship no man. You don't need to. Right? I take this quote from the Bible. Any Bible. Don't idolize or worship no man. You don't need to, bro. Right? God made us in his image. My nigga, everybody could reach that potential if you just tap in with your fucking self. All you got to do is tap in with yourself. Just tap in, bro. That's it. All you got to do is tap in with yourself. Hey, y'all better stop running out of water on me. Bro, you ain't got to look for no man to help you. You don't got to look for nothing. Just tap in with yourself, bro, and you good.